So right now, this is a GBP USD chart. And uh, let's look in the higher time frame perspective. First of all, uh, I think should disable this annotation. Sorry. Okay. So start with higher time frame structure in a weekly. And uh, as you can see here, this one market momentum is a bearish in a higher time frame perspective. And uh, right now market trying to push higher and looking for pullback and then we can continue in a downside so let's see what happening right now in this picture and what we can expect in upcoming few days okay probably in week so as you can see here at this point if i clean this i'm sorry okay so this is our previous low, which is here. And after this low, market break this structure in a downside, correct? In a, this is a minor structure. This is not confirmed break of structure, but this is a, our internal structure. And then what happened here, as you can see, after break this structure, this order block is our next py when we can sell in upcoming few weeks so probably market must be tap this order block before the sell correct so overall we are expecting price push higher to mitigate this order block and then we can switch into lower time frame then we can sell so this is overall scenario in a weekly perspective and one more thing uh, i think here market taken out the previous liquidity is here sweep the previous and then we can expect buying at this level why because at this point market grab all major liquidity and then what happened market push higher and this high act like our change of character okay so after change of character we are expecting price must be type this extreme and then go higher and one more thing this is our trend line liquidity okay you can see and one more thing in this case this is our engineering liquidity which is here correct okay so after taking out this liquidity price must be go higher okay and uh, there are two scenario possible if market push higher then we can see some pullback to this level and then we can continue rise upside and one more if market push downside mitigate this level then we can continue go higher in a higher time frame in a weekly now switch into daily chart so right now in a daily perspective market break the structure it's taken out the liquidity in a previous and uh, this is our single which is one here uh, let me draw this one okay and this one is a lower high and again market break the structure this one is our new lower low market break the first inducement is here and we are expecting price go downside after taking out the inducement we are anticipating price go downside because this one is our recent order block but market failed this order block and trying to go higher to tap this this one is our extreme engineering liquidity on the available on the extreme Okay, so 
in a daily perspective market must be type this order block which is on his head this one is our extreme poi and in upcoming few days we can see some pull back to the upside and then possible go lower and possible to take in out this high which is our daily time frame structure and tap on the weekly py and then we can sell okay so this is overall scenario in our gbp versity price looking for the deeper pull wave so overall gbp was still looking for the pull back to the upside in a 4 hour picture you can see market trying to go higher and buying selling buying selling continue pressure in a downside at this point this one is our order block and this one is our inducement is here and after taking out this inducement where we can buy at this point okay this order block is not longer valid and maybe push downside but this become this area become more high probability compared to this order block so in the future in upcoming few days price must be came back this zone and then we can go higher to the upside in a gbp usd like this okay and looking for any change of character in a 15 minute and then we can see some continuation to the upside in a gbp usd so overall higher time frame looking for the uh, upside and uh, now switch into 15 met in a 15 met also same thing happen here market taking out the inducement which is here if i delete this one and uh, this was our demand zone or you can say py which took out the previous liquidity okay so market taken out the previous low and then market give instantly reaction and what happening here right now as you can see market creating equal high which is already sweep and after this we can see some deeper pullback to the downside before go higher like this because this is a indication for the reversal because market take out the liquidity in a previous side and this is our inducement after taking out this inducement we can go upside okay so possibly first sell possible for the short term because we are already in a 15 minute and then we can go higher so this is overall structure in our gbp usd first looking for the deeper pullback in a higher time frame and in a lower time frame looking for the first sell and then buy after taking out this low which is here correct because this is our 15 minute inducement like this correct like this price must be taken out this and then we can buy upside okay so this is overall scenario in a gbp university higher time frame and lower time frame now let's switch into the another pair euro usd so delete this thing let's switch into daily time frame and in a daily time frame perspective market extremely bearish okay and market trying to recover upside this is our break off structure is here after break this structure what happened here market create another order block which is here okay and if market tap this order block here and then we can see some sell reaction into downside why you can see on the bottom side market sweep the liquidity after sweep the liquidity possible reversal to the upside so after liquidity where is our order block is here 
and we can see some cell reaction this level if market filled this supply zone okay then we can sell on the extreme level which is here let me show you exactly like this so this is our extreme order block extreme py and some people mark this this is our order block and this but this is not order block this is a smart money trap okay so we can short term uh take a pullback and then we we'll continue higher to mitigate this supply zone which is here and then possible another move in a downside till this level so overall euro usd have a similar view like gbp usd looking for pullback Hello, can you hear me? Okay, okay, thank you so much. Okay, so uh, at this point, we can see market trying to push higher and recovering to the upside. And this is our first PY where we can sell. And this is our extreme PY when we can sell. Why? Because this took out the liquidity and this is our high probability PUI when we can sell correct and this is our first PUI and this is our smart money trap and this order block is not a valid for the sell okay because market push downside and this is our short term uh, like single leg okay and the first inducement is here and sell above it and this is our smart money trap okay so always wait for the extreme because extreme is high probability okay so this is our daily perspective in a euro usd switch into four hour in a four hour perspective market take out the liquidity in a sell side and uh, this is our change of character and uh, this one is our inducement first inducement is here and after taking out this inducement we can buy below it probably here and this is our demand zone correct okay and uh, uh, someone asked me what is the smart money trap this one this is a smart money type without inducement if you are buying without inducement then market give little bit reaction and then push down set and order block fail okay so buy below it this is high probability market type here and go higher right now market creating more liquidity on upside and like this correct and we are expecting price must be go higher okay at least this zone because this is our daily zone and price in upcoming days we can see price go higher and this area become our new poi after break this structure like this after break this structure is here this become our inducement okay then we can buy here 
to this level, right? So this is overall scenario in a four hour and daily perspective in a Euro USD. Now switch into 15 minutes. 15 minutes is a sideways, as you can see here, market totally in a sideways. We should wait for the break this high, then we can buy for the upside. Because after break this structure, we can see some uh, another trend line trap. Let me show you exactly. This become our break off structure. And this is our trend line. Market push higher and push downside, break this trend line. And this is our retail trap, which uh, people are buy on the trend line and sell after break this trend line. And then what happened? Taken out the inducement and price go higher. Okay. So this is overall scenario in a Euro USD right now. Okay. So let's switch into another pair. I think Bitcoin, BTC USDT. Yes, uh, as I told, uh, as I mentioned in a previous video that uh, first delete this one, this is some, okay. As I told you in a previous uh, session that uh, market trading on the weekly bullish order block, which is here, correct. And after tap this market giving reaction to the upside market trying to push higher. So where is our weekly target if market go higher? So this area is our next uh, target for the buyers. Probably we can see uh, around $50,000 as per the weekly perspective. Okay. Because uh, this is our recent structure, which market must be taken out before the sell. In upcoming days, week, we can see press taken out this high and then we can see another drop to the downside. So this high must be taken out before the sell and we are not bullish. And this is our all liquidity, which is mar market already grab and then pushing higher. Okay. And this is also this area also become our trap why because everyone now trying to sell here because they anticipating this is supply demand this supply convert sorry this demand convert into supply and people are anticipating type here and then sell no market type here give a little bit reaction and then continue go higher and hit all stop loss okay and majority of the stop loss sitting above it because everyone selling selling and above it and they again buying here above it and then market push down so market go against what we are predicting against most of the time okay so you have to uh, prepare both side what marketing doing right now and you have to keep uh, you have to wait for the right time to enter in a market before the buy and sell okay so this is overall scenario in a higher time frame now let's see in four hour Okay, in a four hour market smoothly tapping on the inducement. Sorry, taking out the inducement, tap on the order block and go higher. Market break the structure is here. Break the structure, taking out the inducement, tap on the order block and go higher. And same thing is here. Break the structure. After break the structure, we are anticipating if market go higher. So this low become our inducement and this low become our inducement so we can buy here okay because this is our uh poi price of interest when we can introduce for the bias like this okay so this is overall scenario for the bitcoin in a four hour Okay, so I hope you understand and market already gave three 
times and possibly four. And after this market give a deeper pullback and market break this low because market don't follow any single time frame. Okay, so this is overall scenario in a four hour in a Bitcoin. Now we should start some requested pair then we can continue. Okay, so what is next pair? Ness hundred. Okay. So in a nice hundred market was bullish and take some pullback and let's see in a weekly perspective what happening right now. Okay, market taken out this inducement and after taking out this inducement. Okay, market is downside downside. This is our extreme and first inducement below it there is nothing clear probably here because this big is unmitigated okay maybe in next wave we can see market tap on this week and then we can continue okay okay mm -hmm. so uh, this is our minor structure the recent high is here which is already taken out and if uh, market next uh, this week market showing some bearish direction then probably we can test this zone if market uh, next week close our bid right then uh, we can see some bullish reaction to the upside why because this is our most recent low sorry most recent high is here in a weekly time frame i'm talking about higher time frame perspective okay and switch into four hour yes you can see market taking out the previous high which is here and price must be a uh, close of a bit if market actually want to go higher, right? And if I mark here structure, taking out the low, break the structure. And what happened here is here, taking out this inducement, tap on this order block. Again, market break the structure is here. After break this structure, where is our inducement is here. Okay. This one is our inducement. Okay. And this area become our new order block, but this inducement failed. Okay again break the structure to the upside and after break the structure if uh, possible if market go higher so this area become our new inducement and after this inducement this py become our new zone where we can buy okay so overall this is area of interest when we can buy and if market uh Monday market open and swing some bearish reaction and then we can see some uh, deeper pullback before go higher. Okay. Now switch into 15 minute to see exactly what happening. Yes, correct. So uh, in a 15 minute structure is also looking bullish is here. Let's mark this one. And this is our first 
low which is already taken out and after taking out this low this is our inducement and we can mark this as auto plot this is our inducement and we can buy at this point in a one minute to identify the structure and again market break the structure in a 15 minute and after break this structure what we can expect we can expect price must be create structure something like this okay and then after taking out this low after taking out this low we can buy to the upside at this order block and this low act like our inducement so overall this is scenario in a nas 100 right now and market momentum actually is a very bullish and same thing happened here before this boss as you can see this is our boss So before this market tap on this order block and go high probably here is the inducement. This one. Okay, so this is a scenario in a NAS hundred. Okay, so next pair. nifty okay nifty bank nifty okay let's open gold okay after nifty i will mark mm -hmm. let's see in a daily perspective first okay so in a weekly perspective, if you look a higher time frame story in a nifty bank, so market taken out the inducement as per the weekly perspective. And after taking out inducement, price tap on this order block and go higher. But market, what happened here? Market taken out the inducement and go higher. And this is indication for the bullish market. And probably if market uh, continue, if market wanna actually go higher, so market give bullish structure in a lower time frame also. And in this case, uh, market I don't think market must be taken out this low because market close above it. So this is a strong indication for the upside. If market sweep this high, which is here, and push downside, then we can see Nifty at this level right now. But market close above it, so this is a strong indication for the bullish market in a higher time frame perspective and if i switch here in a four hour so four hour is still bullish change of character is here okay and after taking out the inducement probably right now this is our first inducement after taking out the inducement we can buy here okay and this is our first inducement when we can buy to the upside. Right. So right now, this is an overall higher time frame story in our Nifty. To fill the app candle. Yeah. Geo, geo already uh, analysis. You can watch uh, later. So, any more pair? gold okay start with weekly 
quickly trying to go higher and developing creating more liquidity in a downside as i mentioned in a previous video this is our demand zone in terms of the retail and uh, this demand is a snr liquidity this demand must be taken out before the continue go higher so in upcoming weeks market must be trade below it and uh, possibly after taking out this high and then we can continue downside and then tap on this order block which is below it demand zone and then we can go higher right so this is overall scenario if you are looking for sell then sell after taking out this high in terms of the weekly perspective okay so sir please explain the all type of actually uh all types of order block is not possible to say because there are different different type order block almost six type okay so which is i can't say here and uh, in a daily time frame the structure is also looking similar story and there is nothing change here market trying to go higher and uh, pushing upside this is a deeper pullback to the upside okay if market taken out this high then we can sell okay so this is overall scenario in a gold price must be taken out this high in upcoming days in upcoming days gold we can see continue rise upside okay after taking out this high we can sell in a downside so how to confirm entry in a short term frame please show you how okay uh end of the uh session i will show you exactly first analyze the every chart then i will pick one by one question so this is our trap or you can say also fake boss and this is our fake boss after break this high and then we can continue sell and when market tap on this weekly order block and then we can continue buy for the longer term and it's take a lot of time this is not for daily weekly this is take a few months okay and probably at least few weeks market go higher and then type this order block and then go higher okay yes i will upload this video on youtube so this is a possible higher time frame story in a gold and 15 minute let's see lower time frame what happening in a lower time frame so lower time frame mark the first higher low which is here break the structure pushing higher high again break the structure it's a high and low taking out this inducement is here first In this case, this is our first inducement. Type on this order block by taking out this. Sweep this low and go higher. And probably here in a lower time frame structure, and then we can buy. And after break this structure, we can again buy after taking out the inducement, probably like this. And then this order block act like sorry this low act like inducement and then we can again buy like this okay and this zone right now if market create more move upside in a short term then uh, inducement may be change Okay, so this is a story in a 15 minute and higher time frame in a gold. So please do back testing. 
actually uh, back testing and everything i can't say it here and this is uh, some lot of things for private community okay so let's uh, let's speak a qu quick question one by one how to identify inducement recent internal high or low act like inducement IDM then boss both in IDM. My question is yes, ask me. If you have any question, you can ask me in chat box, everyone. Your course, yes, in a video course include everything. In a mentorship program, everything included. Video course, content, PDF, handbook, member, and full access everything and one to one session also you can any no i don't use any kind of indicator because every indicator follow a price action no i don't i don't post any kind of uh, that i will upload a testing back testing video no i will upload entry type video on YouTube, sir, how do you use one hour? Yes, one hour. Uh, you have to wait for the one hour boss and wait for the mitigate POI. And once market mitigate POI, then you can take entry in a five minute, which is very good. lower time frame entry there are different different type of scenario possible there is not fix any single type of scenario happen every time because every time market give different different story like uh, for example market is a bullish i'm sorry okay and market taken out this inducement then what happened here in a lower time frame here At this point, we can see different, different type of story in a lower time frame. Probably some people buy after check, chalk, and then buy. And sometime what happened? Market did not create chalk. Just sweep this low. Okay. And sweep this low. And then we can also buy like this. Okay. And sometime create flip, sometime single candle mitigation, and sometime also there are different different type of entry like mostly we use three three type of entry every poi have different type of entry single type of entry is not possible you can't uh, you have noticed a lot of time market tap on the order block then market did not keep any chalk entry in this case market tap on this and then there is no entry here for the chalk and then if you are looking for chalk then buy no this is our chalk actually so this is a chalk and you are looking for buy no okay so in this case you have to wait for this and this is our single candle mitigation entry which is here because it took out the previous candle low and we can buy here and target is same 15 minute high which is here okay so this is our after taking out this high we can again sell means uh, you have to follow some rules that how you can trade chalk and sweep and then again sell again type on this order block this is our inducement tap on this order block and then again we can buy here taking out this low break the structure we can buy on this order block but market did not tap here and then what happened market 
वो कंटिन्यू हाय सो दिस थिंग हैपन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टोरी ऑन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पी आई so any more question how do you use smc in bank nifty yes uh, smc working smoothly in bank nifty uh, in every market even when market do uh, manipulation then SMC work smoothly in a forex stock and cryptocurrency. Everything. This is not a community for only a forex trader. This community for stock trader and cryptocurrency trader. In our community, lot of traders doing trade based on the these these are entry based on the bank Nifty in a bank Nifty. Sorry, Nifty. Okay, so all right. So, any more question? If anybody asked, yes, I will upload a video about a entry. Some uh, two types of entry I will upload. Yeah, because there are different different of of entry, some basic entry and some advanced type of entry. Ah, uh, actually, of uh, on four hour time frame, if you found POI on four hour, then you have to wait for at least fifteen minute structure. Fifteen minute change of character, fifteen minute inducement or sweep the liquidity or anything, then you can sell. can be yes you can use also crude oil everywhere because manipulation happening everywhere uh especially in stocks and commodity market lot of manipulation with the trend line and patterns how to spell cyclic pattern what is this i don't know i need to back testing because i purchased your 2.0 what is this back testing will be in a private uh, weekly webinar and one to one session also it's take uh, it's depend on you that how much you capable to learn things okay there is not fix any time frame any that uh, it's take maybe someone someone uh, take a few months someone uh, take few years to become a profitable to become a consistency for profitable okay so there are different different type very how do you pick target i pick a majority higher time frame most recent high or low if i mark the higher time frame py in a 15 minute then i set my target on the 15 minute high or low if market continuation if market is a i'm taking a against i mean counter trend then i will set my target for the short term i don't use fibonacci tool my stop loss sometime 2 pip sometime 3 4 uh, maximum 5 pip but uh, mostly 2 3 and 4 pip 
depend on the structure i don't use a stick uh, on the fixed stop loss like two pip or three pip no i use structure based on the structure i mean i use stop loss based on the structure sometime two pips sometime three and sometime four even five but i can't go more than five pips i don't use any fibonacci tool or anything not premium discount session indicators anything no zone kill zone no nothing i use simple price action which is actually work which is logical everything order flow order flow why is important why is valid why this law is not valid everything i don't use second entry So if you have any more questions, I don't trade any session. You know, opening Asian session, high low, London session, high low. Some people trade opening of the New York. If work, then you can, but I don't use because everything is a liquidity. Every session's high low is a liquidity. Support resistance is a liquidity. Daily candles high low is a liquidity. Everything is a liquidity. But there is no guarantee. Then why are you using here? But it's uh, depend only if uh, session is uh, suitable for you in your style, then you can use. This is one time your entry play. Entry is a, uh, you can say, is a not a big deal if you know that how you can enter. For example, this is a market is a bullish, right? Then you have to wait for the inducement always. Taken those inducement, uh, you can buy here. Type on this order block. If there is a level, then you can buy. If not, then you can wait for the another entry. Another break of structure, push down side. This is inducement. And what happened here? This is not broke by this one. So this is not valid inducement is here. This is single leg, correct. And in this case, you have to sweep the major low, which is here high and low. First sweep this low and you can buy. Market sweep this low and go higher. And this order block is valid and you can buy here, correct. And same thing happened here. Market taken out this. I mean, break the structure is here and market push higher, taken out this inducement, buy on this order block, go higher. Again, this, and then what happened? This is inducement, you can buy here. And this time, what happened? Your stop loss hit, correct? After hit this stop loss, market momentum is changed. And this is a one minute, sorry, two minute, okay? But I'm just showing you exactly how you can read it. So after break this low, market push downside and everyone selling here on this order block but why you are selling here there is no inducement you have to wait for sweep this order block once market sweep this order block then we can sell and now then market push downside and this is our candle now we can enter here for sell and this is our high probability sell correct and this thing happen every time you can see here also taken out the inducement correct and tap on this order block and push downside break the structure okay break the structure everyone selling here everyone selling here but even there is no inducement and everyone selling here market give little bit reaction and push higher and this is a smart money trap okay and then what happened market break the structure is here correct and this is also create sorry this is our break of structure also equal high okay if you actually want to sell 
then you have to sell here because this is a high probability ng on the extreme and below it this is our inducement okay and if you want to sell then you can sell here there is no make sense here for sell you can sell here okay when market push downside you can put your stop loss on break even and in this trade you can break even tap on this order block and go higher but you can't catch this move because market momentum is a bearish okay but <clears throat> this is a depend and structure what structure is creating here trend line liquidity every time find the liquidity liquidity wait for order block and go higher liquidity push higher and this is a different different type of entry model is here probably here okay and uh, this one is also inducement type on this order block go higher taken out this low type on this extreme go higher again same thing market is a bearish taken out this liquidity all liquidity and type on this extreme and push downside correct same thing everything every time market break the structure taken out this inducement go higher tapping on this order block so this is a okay so it's a there is a different different type of entry module and different type of inducement your order block maybe your endorsement and uh, there is single candle mitigation single candle sweep and single candle mitigation order block there are some extra different from basic smc okay upgrade version of the general smc because all the smc is a majority is a trap because they don't talk about the liquidity nobody talk about the liquidity because liquidity is a main thing if you know that how to mark the correct structure valid structure and identify the valid uh, area of interest and liquidity and then you can buy and sell then very highly chances your trade gone in your profit and you're gone in your favor at least inducement is a first uh high measure high sorry internal high or low is an inducement liquidity is a different different type maybe in terms of the uh like uh, equal high maybe equal high equal low trend line liquidity there are different different type and i already upload video about inducement and liquidity on youtube you can watch okay so if you have any more question you can ask me then i will finish then i'm going to finish this as this is inducement and this is inducement and liquidity is here like this can be your liquidity trend line break everyone selling here so, so this is our liquidity okay and liquidity can be in a different different form like equal high okay and this is a trend line break and failed and people say this is a fake out this is liquidity trap this is inducement first low taken out the market so this one is inducement tap on this order block and go higher and this one is our inducement correct because everyone selling and this one is inducement to induce people to sell and buy and then type on your order block and go higher okay and same thing happen here inducement and after this inducement what happened market tap on your extreme and go higher because everyone selling here selling here okay same thing is here so these are liquidity everything okay All right, guys, so we should finish this session.
if you have any question then you can ask me then i'm going to finish this session D2S demand to supply, which is called flip. When demand convert into supply, that's one called D2S. I'm going to show you some quick overview. For example, market, this is a supply zone. And this is applicable on the every time frame, sorry, in a, every time frame and uh, for reversal and continuation. Market push higher and then what happened? Market tap on your order block and then give a little bit reaction, but fail to hold this low. And then what happened? This is our chalk also. Okay. And this is our chalk. And after this, where is our demand? Sorry, supply is here. And then market push higher and looking for the sell. And this is our called d2s because this demand convert into supply so this one is a called d2s so okay yes uh, message me on telegram i will so share this chart to you yes market must be taken out of the inducement before they go higher and lower and if you are selling before the inducement then you are trapped very highly chances and most of the traders do same thing they buy and sell after break the structure for example everyone selling here is here okay why because the anticipating break the structure is here and they know market break the structure so this <laughs> supply is a very high probability because this supply actual break the structure and they're selling here but in reality this is a smart money trap and then what happened market push higher took all stop loss and then push downside yeah and your prediction is a correct because you are expecting market is a downside but you don't know where is a liquidity and you are becoming part of this liquidity smart money is not uh, smart money we are all retailers okay and uh, some people uh, think that banks trade based on the order block chalk boss no they don't trade hmm. based on your boss or anything. They don't base any strategy. They don't follow any strategy like uh, demand, supply, chalk, pause. They only use your number of orders. Where is the number of orders? Where is the number of entry? And where is the maximum number of the stop loss? They manipulate them and then market go higher and lower. They create, they create order block. They create structure. They create fake out, break out. They create. They don't trade based on the structure because they are a structure creator. If anybody uh, think that banks trade based on order block and boss shock, then why are you losing money? Most of the smart money traders losing money compared to chart pattern and retailers. Okay, so yes, correct. Obviously. How many point risk in a stop in actually uh, personally I don't uh, trade in nifty uh, bank nifty in a intraday and anything, but you can see this is my stop if I set as per my plan. 13 point 
11 point 11 and you can say 10 to 15 points the stop loss in a nifty and okay so now i have to finish this session yes you can ask me so as how to enter swiftly actually i already uh so you already like this this is a sweep the liquidity minor sweep and there are different different type of uh this situation how many funds are required to gold and nasdaq it's depend on your broker and your libraries Okay, guys, so let me finish this session. Okay, thank you for the attend this session and have a nice weekend and I'm I'm hoping that your next week will be profitable. Thank you so much guys attend this session. And if you missed this session and I will upload on YouTube, you can watch later. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.